Well, this is my 2018 uh, SX210 Yamaha jet boat, and it has two TR1 engines in it. And um, one of the things you're supposed to do is check your anoids or your zincs and uh, see if they've uh, broke down or, you know, uh, dissolved, need to be replaced. And on this particular engine, the service manual tells you to remove the intake manifold in order to uh, check the ones that are in the engine. So the, uh, the cover for it is really between, I'm going to call them cylinder, from the front to the back, one, two, and three. Cylinder three between two and three right here. If we look back in there, you can see it's going to be a little out of focus. Let me move this hose out of the way. And there it is. So you see it's got a center bolt and then a bolt a little bit lower to the left. The center bolt is the one that's actually holding the zinc. And the other bolt is the one that needs to come out that's actually holding all this in. And it is a 12 millimeter. So it, it, the reason they tell you to remove the manifold is because it's hard to get to. But um, there's actually a couple different ways to do it. I have not taken mine out yet, so uh, I'm going to give it a shot. This is a 12 millimeter universal socket. Um, and it goes in there perfectly. The other way you could do it is with a 12 millimeter wrench, preferably a ratcheting wrench. But I'll tell you, that is hard to get in there. I've already tried. It's, I could do it, but I'm not even going to attempt it. I am going to attempt it with this. So let me get it in there, and so let me see if I can film this. So it, it actually broke loose pretty nicely. Um, I know it's going to be a little hard to see, but I'm taking the bolt out here. And knowing my luck, I'm going to drop it all the way to the bottom of the engine compartment and have to fish it out. But we'll see what happens here. And it's pretty long. It ought to be fun getting it back in there. Sorry for the focus, but this is like down in a hole. So there we go. Good grief. All right, I think I got it. Okay, filming one hand and working one hand is not the ideal thing. Okay, I think, whoops, this Universal is great. I mean, it, it fit on there really nice. All right, I'm going to have to pause this and get in here and see if I can get this bolt out. All right, bolt is out, and now I just have to uh, see if I can get a, uh, maybe a screwdriver in there. And uh, pry this out a little bit if it'll move. I don't even know where to, not even sure where to pry here. Mm. All right, I have to uh, yeah, I can't really see what I'm doing. Pause this for a minute and figure this out. Well, sorry I couldn't film it. Uh, there's no way you could have seen any of it. Basically what I did, so it's an engine like this. I put the screwdriver right here on the top of it and tapped it so it tilted down. And then there was a space right here to pry. And it popped out. And to my surprise, uh, there was a lot of water in there, and I didn't think there should be any water in my engine. It's actually, I'm in the process of winterizing. I usually don't use antifreeze in it, or at least I never have in the years I've owned it. But this looks worse than I thought it would for 2018. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Um, I don't know. It's like big chunks of it are missing. Um... I'm going to take the one out in the other engine and see how it looks. But with that being said, you can check these, get these out without having to take the intake manifold off. It's it's a little bit 
hard to get it in and out. Um, I did need some very long uh, pliers to reach down in there and grab it to pull it out. It can be done. It would probably take a little bit less time to do it this way than to take the intake off, but it would definitely be easier to access it by taking the intake off. Um, I'm going to be buying probably just the zinc. I know they sell that separately, take this bolt out. Um, but now I'm thinking that for winterization, I probably am going to want to put antifreeze in it. And I've never done that before. There's where it came out of. Um, so, a little surprised how bad it looks. I flush with um, I flush with salt away every time. I mean, yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know why it looks so chunky like that. Like it's really just worn down instead of, or it's like something's hit it. I don't know. Or maybe when I removed it, something happened. I might need to feel back up in there and see if a piece of it broke off. Anyway. 12 millimeter universal i highly recommend if you're going to do this a wrench you can do it but it is going to be a bear to get it out or and back in in fact uh i'll see how hard it will be to put back in but i don't think that's going to be too difficult but uh it can be done